Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to Algebra 1. We are learning how to use our TI-84 graphing calculator. Mine's the cutest because it's pink. My husband says he thinks that's purple. I definitely think it's a fuchsia pink, but that's not important. All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to use our calculator to evaluate exponents. So first we have to turn it on. The button's right there. Now I've got something else going on, so I've got to get rid of it. I'm going to go up. That was Algebra 2. So I went to Y equals, and then I hit Clear to get rid of what was going on. But I want to get back to my regular math screen. Whenever you try to get back to some place, you can go second. Can you see what that says right there? Quit. So we're going to say second quit, and we're back to the regular math screen where you do things like 2 plus 2 is 4. All right, we're getting a glare there. Let me move a little bit. There we go. All right, so I'm going to clear out what's in it with that clear button, make it all neat looking. And what we're supposed to do, we are uh, looking in the book on page 14, but you don't have to be following our book to do this. And what my students are going to do, they're going to use their calculator to do number 69 and 71. I always have them do the odds so they can check the answers in the back of the book, but I'm going to do 70, the even one. It says make a table like the one shown for powers of 8. So I've got it over here. So I'm going to do 8 to the first power, 8 to the second, 8 to the third, and I'm going to find out what it is using my calculator. Okay, so how you do an exponent, you just push the base, the number that's going to be raised to an exponent, and mine is 8, and then it's this up arrow right here that little thing that looks like the roof of a house. I do up arrow and now I put in one. And now I hit enter and it will tell me the answer is eight. So let me get my pencil. Ah. And the answer is eight. Okay, now let's do another one. So I'm gonna say eight. Now there's two ways. If it is to the second power, which is our next one, that has a special name. It's called squared. And I want you to get in the habit of whenever it's squared, and squared is the most common thing you're going to use with like math, the area of a circle is pi r squared. Um, squared is just the most common exponent to use. So common it has its very own special button. It's right there. See where my finger is? X raised to the second power. Whenever it's squared, I want you to use that button and see how that I just pressed it and there's the squared. Why do I want you to do, do that for squared? Because since it's your normal one you do, it's more convenient because see how the cursor is down what I call in numerator land? That a math problem has denominator land on, on the bottom where, where if it was a fraction, the denominator would go the numerator land, the regular math land, and then exponent land. If you use x squared, the cursor will go ahead and automatically go back down where you're ready to do more math. If you, um, otherwise, you have to use your arrow over keys to get back down to this level. And a lot of times I've seen kids miss problems because they were what I said call up in, in exponent land. Okay, so now let's hit enter and see what the answer is. Oops, let's get where it's not a glare. It is 64, so I'm writing that in my chart. And now we're going to do the next one. Now this one, uh, to the third power, actually has a special button, but it's not on here. It's in a menu. So we're going to go ahead and do 8 to the third power. See how the cursor is still up here in exponent land? To get it over, I would have to use that arrow over, so it's an extra step. I hit enter, and it's 512. I've got to write a little bit little here. These are getting big fast. Okay, let's do 8 to the 4th power. Enter. I don't have to arrow down before I hit enter. And it's 4096. Now we're going to do 8 to the 5th power. Hit enter. And it is, I'm going to make this down just because it's getting too crowded. 32768. Okay, now let's do the next one. It's going to be 8 to the 6th power. 8 right there. Up arrow. 6, 8 to the 6th power. Enter. 
and it is 26 2144. Okay, now we're going to do 8 to the seventh power. Push 8 again up. Uh, 7. There we go. Hit enter. Ooh, what a big number. 2097152. Now our last one, 8 to the eighth power. And it's going to be huge. 16. 777216. Okay, now our question says, do you recognize a pattern? So here is our numbers 864, 512, 4096, 32,768, etc. Okay, do you see the pattern? I'm trying to hold it so that you can't see the answer. It's that, dun dun dun. dun. They repeat ending in 8426. So we have 8426. 8426. So that was the pattern. But the main thing I wanted you to know how to do was to use the up arrow to do an exponent or to do the X, this button over here, X squared button. Now, let's do one more, just for fun. What do you think 8 to the 0 power is? Let's see. 8, up arrow, 0, is 1. Isn't that weird? We're going to talk more about it later. But anything to the 0 power is 1. It's one of those just weird little math things. All right. So, um, have fun. Uh, enjoy your math lab, your calculator lab. Enjoy your calculator. I think it's fun. Math is great.